Having done this channel for a while, I continue to get asked the same questions over and over again. In this video, I'm going to be addressing the number one question that people reach out and ask me in regards to Airtable. So if that's of interest to you, stick around and let's get into it. Hi, my name is Gareth Pronovost and I am the owner of Gap Consulting, where we help businesses to get organized and automated with an Airtable and Zapier solution. If that's of interest to you, before we get into this video, definitely click subscribe to this channel. We're putting out new weekly content on these tools, showing you how to build this yourself. But without further ado, let's get into my screen here. And here is an example email that uh, comes through quite a lot. Uh, this is used by permission or with permission. So thank you to the author for sending this request in. As you see, he says, hey, I'm giving Airtable a trial. I came across your channel and uh, I'm trying to find info on a common capability for other databases that he just can't figure out in Airtable. He wants to list a single select or a multi-select field type to be dependent on the value in another field. So he says, for example, let's say I have a state field and a city field. He wants the drop down list for city to only offer options that correspond to the state so that you don't have you know, a whole bunch of different drop downs um, that are cluttering up your data. Uh, he says this isn't his, uh, his actual real world use, but it's a simple example. Uh, so it makes it perfect for this video, of course, uh, without giving away any proprietary information from our users or uh, viewers. So let's go ahead and jump into uh, the response. So of course, I answered this already for him via email, uh, but we definitely want to talk about how this is possible. So, or exactly what is possible, we should say. So let's create a new database. We're going to start from scratch here and just jump on into it. So what he's suggesting is that he's got two different field types. So we're gonna create a state here with a single select, whoops, a single select, not a single line. There's the one I want. And, uh, and then we want some cities as well. So let me go ahead and like build out just a simple, simple example. So for example, let's say we had two states. Uh, let's say we have California and we've got Colorado. I'll make the colors very different so that it's easy to tell them apart. And let me put in a couple of cities that, you know, are in both of these states. So um, we got Los Angeles and uh, gosh, I'm trying to think of another city. Um, let's say Burbank. And then we've got Denver and we've got, let's say, Colorado Springs. Okay, so obviously Los Angeles and Burbank are cities in California and Denver and Colorado Springs are cities in uh, Colorado. So in his example, he's saying, if I have a state like California, then I want to be able to select a dropdown from my city and only see the two options for California instead of getting cluttered with all this data, right? So in this case, when we go to use our dropdown, we have four different single select fields that are available. Uh, but he only wants to see those that apply to California. So he wants to know how is this possible? In short, this is not possible in Airtable. So let me just really quickly do a quick definition on how I like to think of the different field types and this might help you in planning out your databases. So in, I put all the different field types in two major buckets. I have what we call uh, dependent fields and independent fields. So independent fields are all of those field types that you can copy or excuse me, write data to. So if you have like a number field or you have a, um, a drop down, a single select or a multi select, or you have uh, even just like a text field, you can write data directly to that field. The other type of field, the dependent field, you cannot write data to. Instead, the dependent field gets its um, its value, the value or the output of that field is completely dependent on other variables. So let me go with two of the most uh, simple examples here. We've got the uh, single line text. Let me go ahead and actually name this field the appropriate name. So this is a single line text. And as you see, this is the type, this is the field type, meaning this is the type of data that lives in this field. 
So in a single line text, we can type whatever we want. So I can just say example, text, right? Whatever. We can just put that right into that value. And then we have other field types. Let's say a formula field. And in this case, I might do a formula that takes my uh, single line text and puts it in all lowercase. So if I lowercase my single line text, what this is going to do, this formula, it's going to take everything in my single line text field and, uh, you know, lowercase it. So it's going to take all the capital letters out of it. And we can see that quite simply by example, this text is now all in lowercase, but of course it was already. But in the case where we had a capital letter here for capital text, now it is lowercase. So this, again, this formula is just saying, hey, I'm going to take whatever text you have over here and I'm going to make it all lowercase. All right, that's easy enough. Uh, we can even prove that by, uh, you know, typing in some, just a random uh, string uh, with, you know, some lowercase and uppercase. We have to give the formula just a moment to think, and of course it, uh, it now presents that. All right, so formula's working. Now here's, here's the deal. One of these is independent, one of these is dependent, right? Our single line text field is independent. Any data that we put in there, we can, any data we wanna put in there, we can put in there. But the formula field is dependent on whatever lives in that single line text field. So the formula field in this case, well in all cases, a formula field type is a dependent field. That is to say it derives its value based on other fields. Now there are a number of dependent fields in Airtable and there are a, a great number of independent fields as well. But the question really boils down to is can we have a field that is both independent and dependent? Because in this example, what he's suggesting is he wants to have an independent field, meaning that he can pick which data point it is, but he also wants it to be dependent with, or rather to have dependent outputs. And to date, at present, Airtable does not have this functionality. And so it is either one or the other. And just to prove this, for example, we could, you know, I guess the big question that you need to ask when you're deciding if a field is either independent or dependent, the question to answer is, uh, can I write data, can I write data to that field? In this case, let's say we wanted to take the um, word example, and I'll just do a copy there. So control C, and I'm gonna paste it into the city, control V. And as you see, when I do that, it creates a new selection. So the single select, that is this field type here, the single select field type, is an independent field type. I can write whatever data I want to to this field, right? It is not dependent, meaning it doesn't rely on other fields for its value. If I try to copy the word text, for example, and paste it in the formula field, what happens? I get a little message down here at the bottom that says unable to paste into this field type. And that's because this field is a dependent field. It relies on other fields to get its value. So I hope that makes sense. And unfortunately, you know, the answer to this question is right now we can't adjust this. However, if you could use a little bit of guidance in terms of which fields are independent and which fields are dependent, I will include a link below where you can uh, get our uh, free PDF of uh, all the different field types that are currently available in Airtable that tells you which of them are independent and which are dependent. It will definitely come in handy when you're building out your Airtable databases to make sure that you have everything in the right order and place. All right, as always, I hope you found that to be super helpful. If you did and you have some business questions that you'd like to run by us, definitely swing by our website. The link will be in the description and we offer up time so that we can hop on a call with you. You can book directly there and we can set something up that works for both of us. What we'll be discussing is building a solution for you that puts all of your data in one place and gives you a nice concise dashboard so that you know what's happening in your business at all times. Additionally, we will work on building 
custom bespoke automation for you so that you can eliminate the time that you spend on repetitive tasks and save countless hours every week. So if that's of interest, definitely swing by our website and check out the different offers that we have there.